I have an emergency GI appointment this morning because the oncologist was so concerned about my liver. I finally got in to see the ENT and they were able to see my eardrums and now I'm going for a hearing test in a second but I am never ever ever going back to a PCP to have them look at my ears because the ENT is where it's at. Yes. And she threw out her back. We don't quite know what she did, and now it's affecting the um, sciatic nerve. So if anyone has any tips on how to reduce pain from that, keep them coming, because those would be much appreciated. She's already been to PT and Oh yeah, I've learned all the tips of the train for that. And getting massages and heat. And nice and, and your little contraption. Yeah, now I've I got a free Oska pulse. The Oska pulse uses magnetic pulses, and you wear it at the site of a pain, and it's supposed to promote the body's natural healing okay. processes. Can okay, I say something? Yeah. But it's very difficult to get that little contraption on your butt cheek. <laughs> because that's where your sciatic nerve is, right on the old wazoo. And that's a lot of padding in there for it to get through. So I don't think that it works for that kind of stuff. A lot of padding here. <laughs> Anyways, it's supposed to promote the body's natural healing process. And it, the recommendation is that you put it on, it comes with a strap, for 90 minutes, two times a day. But I have friends who have also tried it and they use it three or four times a day for the 90 minutes. And then they've had their healthy family members try it for various injuries. And they said that it helps after consistently doing it for like three or four days. It's not something that happens miraculously because it's supposed to promote the body's natural healing. So and healing takes time. My TBN is about to end in the ENT's office and I don't want to mess with my line while I'm in here with all the ear wax and just I just don't feel sanitary. It hasn't even ended yet, it's just about to. And the home health keeps sending a bad batch of batteries and it's driving me crazy because I'm having to replace them every few hours on every single pump and I have a lot of pumps. So we're going through batteries like it's nobody's business. I've had a really rough few days. After the ENT appointment, they did test my hearing. It was in the lower parameters of normal. 1 to 20 or something is the normal range and I was at 20. But we have nothing to compare it to. But it's still kind of going in and out. Not sure. There's nothing they could do. They don't know why. And right now there is another catastrophe occurring. I went to my oncologist a couple days ago. I didn't film anything. And while a lot of my labs are looking better, my liver has over quadrupled the enzymes. And so I was being sent for a stat ultrasound. And I've just been so so nauseous 24 7 i have this disgusting taste in my mouth that i don't know what it's from i can't use the restroom and it's making me very reactive my mast cell so i have like this constant bone pain and now my blood sugars are out of range they're going too high i wake up with 186 and that's not my normal normally i wake up between 100 and 115, sometimes 120, but never 186 and climbing. That's abnormal for me. 
I have an emergency GI appointment this morning because the oncologist was so concerned about my liver. And But my regular GI doctor is out of country and has been for the last four month, well, month. She left the day I was admitted last time. So I'm seeing this guy that's filling in for her who doesn't really know me. The nausea is really getting to me. I mean, I experienced nausea a lot before. But this is literally 24-7, and I don't have any medications to help it. Um, Zofran has methylparaben in the IV formulation, and we can't find a preservative free brand. And then, on top of that, I get the constipation side effect from Zofran. Normally, like, I have to take laxatives to go if I take Zofran which I'm not going at all. I haven't went in a couple weeks now as it is, so that would just probably make a bad situation worse. And ephedrine or promethazine, that has the alcohol-based buffer in the oral formulation and the IV formulation. And I go into anaphylaxis instantly within, within a couple of mLs. I'm still on my CDI, which can help with nausea, but obviously it's not doing that right now. Or if it is, it's not helping good enough with my doctor out. I don't know what this guy's gonna feel comfortable doing or prescribing, maybe. I don't I just don't. I just got out of my GI appointment. They're running lots of liver labs and rechecking my enzymes to see which way we're trending. And then they want to do a capsule endoscopy to check on the interception, he said, but... That's relieved itself. That seems, yeah, that seems to have relieved itself. My obstruction pains are honestly like 80% better. Really? Without this tube, yes. But I'm having other issues. Oh, Everything that persons. didn't vent out through my continuous G-tube drainage was able to just drain through because the GJ holds the pylorus, which is the opening of the stomach open. But without that, you just have to wait until my stomach opens on its own, and that may not happen very often with gastroparesis. And diarrhea was a symptom of intussusception. Every time an intussusception ends, basically. I mean, you were in a constant state of intussusception. You kind of have To some diarrhea. severity. Because you were diarrhea clean mm -hmm. every day. And since the tube has been removed, I'm not having that anymore. And I'm having the opposite problem, and I think that's contributing a lot to my nausea problem in addition to this liver stuff. But they're testing a lot of different tests for the liver, and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of it. It might just be HLH related, but they're yeah, gonna roll out other products. This is my dad's birthday cake that I ordered from Cake Boss. Well, technically it's Carlos' favorite. It's right on top, I might expect to be right on top. And it's like, No, oh, they package even the cake itself. Interesting. My question is, is Selena going to eat any of it? Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to baby. Happy birthday to me. And many more. <laughs> And a couple more. A couple. He totally lip synced that whole thing, Diane. <laughs> oh, do you know what you're doing? It cracked. Here, let me do it. What cracked? <laughs> it cracked. Literally, it cracked. Oh. Uh, I'd still be kind of frozen. Yeah, it was supposed to sit out for three hours. Oh, uh, I'll put it in the refrigerator because I didn't know. I told y'all to leave it out. Getting my ultrasound of my liver because my liver enzymes came back from my GI appointment and they have gone up even more in just a span of three days. 
so now we're getting this looked at before we go to the HL8 doctor on Monday at 8 a.m. And that doctor seemed very promising because he actually called us personally yesterday and spoke with us on the phone saying that my liver problems are likely HL8 and that we will get this figured out. So let's just hope that he's right in the sense that we'll get this figured out. Get it, we. Thank you.